All right. Shalawam. 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 Yasharala. Back at it again with another Lord's with an edifying lesson. Another another GMS Riley collaboration. I'm the brother Naquam. I'm the brother Kapasha. And before we go any further with this Lord's with an edifying lesson, we want to give our honor and our glory and our praises to our heavenly father and to his only begotten son, Yahweh. Yahweh. Bahashem. Bahashem. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Bahashem. Bahashem. Rechakwadash. Rechakwadash. And next up, double honors to our elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone, who still go out there in the highways and hedges and feed us with the 100% truth according to the Bible and who rule well. And Shalom to the Icanists out there laboring, pushing the 100% truth according to the Bible out of fear and sincerity of heart to the best of your abilities. So without further ado, Brother Kabashi, you got it. All right, this is the this is the book of uh, Psalms one fifteen and fourteen. Read. All right. No, 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 no. Slaki, my brother. I'm wrong here. I'm looking at something else. Psalm. Uh, I, I meant to get uh, Psalms. Psalm twenty five. Yeah, twenty five. It's all good, That's my brother. Right. My bad. It's all I'm good. So right, good, this, is the, this is the book of Psalms, uh, the 25th chapter, the the uh, 14th verse reads, mm -hmm. the secret of the Lord is with them that fear him. That's right. The secret, which is what? The wisdom and the knowledge and understanding of the scriptures, the 100% truth of the Bible, and then applying what we learn. See, once you fear the names of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah, and you be obedient, the Lord is going to increase your understanding of his word, man. And you're going to be able to apply it more and more. So the fear of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah, that's who got the secrets, man. Those that fear the Lord, the answers according to the scriptures. Read on. All right. The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him, and yep. he will show them his covenant. What's a covenant is an agreement. Now, one of the agreements that the Lord says is that uh, if you endure it to the end, that you're going to be delivered. Or if you endure it to the end and lose your life for the name of Yahweh Bashim and Shah, you're going to receive a crown of life from Lord Yahweh Shah himself. That's a part of the agreement. And all those that scoff and scorn and all the unbelievers and the heathen nations are going to be destroyed, man. You know? And here in Babylon the Great, which is America, and the elect of the nation of Israel is going to be able to see it. That's one of the agreements as well, man. Getting slaves, inheriting planets, you know, getting those sinless, immortal bodies. That's all a part of the agreement to the elect of the nation of Israel, because the elect of the nation of Israel is not, I repeat, is not going to take the MOTB, which is to see him, man. Even if they got to lose their life, so their agreement, that contract is going to stand with the elect. And the Lord is going to make good his word because the Lord is not a liar. That was it, my bro. That was it on that. I got yeah. Proverbs 1 and 7. Read. Yeah. The, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Right, of what knowledge? Of the knowledge and the wisdom understanding of the scriptures. Because the two-thirds of our people, these ninjas, these reprobates, which is a mind void of judgment, all right? And these degenerates, they got the wisdom of this world, man, which is the wisdom and knowledge of wickedness, all right? So, but the, but the ones that fear Yahweh by Shem Shah, they're going to have the knowledge and the wisdom understanding of the Bible, man, and apply the scriptures. Read on. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. Right. The meatballs, the blockheads, the morons, the idiots. All right. The retards, all of the insults that you could think of above that describes the two thirds of our people. They despise, which means to hate the knowledge and the wisdom that we're bringing out according to the Bible. Just look at different brothers camps and look at our camp, man. What does the majority of our people do when they hear the word? They walk past it. And we know that we, we know that they think something evil in their minds. All right. That's why they have. Uh, that's why the Lord have certain instances where people trip over or fall over once they walk past us, man. Like last week, it was a it was a Edomite staring at the sign, and we know that he was thinking evil thoughts. You know, I said about the men of the Lord, 
And then out of nowhere, the angel pushed him and he almost busted his head on the parking concrete thing. You know what? The thing where, uh, where like it stops you from backing up even further. He almost fell on that, man. Keep, keep keep on playing with the men of the Lord. Keep on playing with those that fear you. How about you, how shy? You fools, you believers, you naysayers. The Lord is going to judge you, man, eventually. Read that one more time, Baba Kasha. All right. This is Proverbs 1 and 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Right. The wisdom and instruction, which instruction goes into warning, all right, of the scriptures. They don't want to hear that Babylon and Great Witch of America are going to be destroyed. They're all their hopes, their dreams, their plans for the future down the line. All that's going to be done away with, man. They don't want to hear that, the two-thirds. They want to hear that they can party. They can BS. They can murf it up, live it up. They can go to college. They can keep twerking and pl pl posting it on social media, going on strip poles and sleeping around with a man, men sleeping with other men's wives, or all the wickedness above. Right, they don't want it to be destroyed because they want to keep being wicked. Well, according to the scriptures, you're going to be destroyed by Allah, of Babylon the Great, talking to the two thirds of our people and you heathen nation. So, you're going to have some company. Mm -hmm. The only difference between the two is the two thirds is come back to the loins of the elect in the kingdom, and the heathens are going to come back as slaves in the kingdom to the wicked elites. You got it, bro. All right, this is the book of Proverbs 8 and 13 reads. Yep. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil. Ooh, you see that? The fear of the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, right? Once you had that deep level of respect and you walk on eggshells around uh, around these around this truth, all right? You're going to hate evil. You're going to hate wickedness, man. You got all these happy people walking up around. You got women that's being disobedient. The children being disobedient and wicked. The men are out of order. Everything just flip upside down. You're going to hate that, according to the Bible, man. You got the wacky tech of Christians talking about some we can't hate. All, all we got to do is love, 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 and forgive. But the scripture says if you fear the Lord, you're going to hate evil. You're going to hate wickedness, man. And we see it and we hear it every day. And that's why the Lord is bringing judgment, horrific, gruesome judgment every single day, too. And we praise the Lord for it. Read on. Pride. And arrogancy. Right. Pride and arrogancy, man. You got Pride Month. You got those that are American pride. You got people that are proud about their own achievements. All right. People just proud, proud, proud. You know what I'm saying? A, a haughty mind, man. But they, but they don't know that when when the when the when the kingdom, all right, people are are, are pride is at its height, then comes the destruction. You know, and the pride of the people is at an all time high. So, therefore, we know that destruction is coming nearer and nearer and nearer as we speak. Go ahead, my bro. And the evil way and the froward mouth do I hate. Right. You see that? A froward mouth, a mouth that speaks lies, man, that, 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 that teach false doctrines, saying that you can have sex on the Sabbath, saying that the, um, well, uh, 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 the new moon is the full moon. Saying that the name of the Lord don't matter. Saying that the MOTB is John three sixteen is sleeping with a so called white woman is sin. All right, it's an embargo. You know everything under the sun, man. The Lord says He's hate those that speak lies. So therefore, those that speak lies are going to be destroyed, man. At least they repent. But hey, somebody got to play the part of the two thirds. And somebody got to play the role of the elect. We're just hoping and praying that we be, we pray to we play the role of the elect. You got it, my brother. All right. This is the book of Sirach. Uh, one and twenty one reads: The fear mm -hmm. of the Lord drive it away sins. That's right. And where it is present, it turneth away wrath. You see that when you fear you have a body shim out shot, it's gonna make you stay away. From willful wickedness, man, because we 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 still go off, we still sin, of course. But the sins of being slacky, slacky, that's Satan. The, but the laws, statutes, and commandments that we know that we can keep, we keep them to the best of our abilities, man. 
Like, we don't get tattoos. Once we know that getting tattoos is an abomination to the Lord, it's wicked, we don't get them no more. We no longer get lineups. Okay, we no longer steal. We no longer commit adultery. All right? We no longer idol worship first and foremost. You know? So on and so forth. We no longer do those things, you know? Because we fear you have about shit, man, our shy, and we apply these scriptures to the best of our abilities. And then when you do that, it turns away the Lord's extreme anger from you. That's why when that's why when the Lord brings tornadoes and storms and hurricanes, all right, although we in the midst of it, the Lord protects his men. The Lord protects the hopeful elect, man. Okay? While everybody else re re receives devastation and judgment from the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. That was it, my bro. That was it. Break it up. All right, uh, I, I know you had one more, and uh, didn't you have another one in Sirach 2 and was it 10? Yeah, Sirach 2 and 8. 2 and 8, okay, that's fine. Yeah. All right, this is the book of Sirach 2 and 8. Reads, ye that fear the Lord, believe him, and your reward shall not fail. That's right, see, ye that fear the Lord, believe in the Lord. Keep having faith. Keep the faith, keep fighting no matter what. Because when you fear you by Shimon Shah, you understand the outcome of uh, what's going to happen. For the elect of the nation of Israel, it's protection and salvation. For the two thirds and you see the nations, it's going to be destruction. So ye that fear you by Shimon Shah, keep the faith, keep fighting, keep believing, man. Keep pushing. Talking to myself, first and foremost, the hell with this world, man. This world ain't got nothing for us. Everything is flipped upside down, man. Everything is being ran in wickedness because the wicked is ruling, man. So why would you want to stay here? Why would you want to uh, prosper here, so to speak? Mm -hmm. okay. Read it right. one more time, Baba Kasha. Yeah, this is uh, the book of Sirach 2 and 8 reads, Ye that fear the Lord, believe him, and yep. your reward shall not fail. Right, your reward, man. The Lord says he's not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, man. See, the elect of the nation of Israel is going to receive a reward for being steadfast, standing ten toes down for the name of Yahweh by Shem Shah. And you can read about that in Second Ezra, the second chapter of Lord Yahweh Shah delivering his elect and, re and putting crowns upon their heads, man. Lord is willing. Saying, good, good job, man. You know, saluting, saluting brothers, you know. Hugging brothers, you know, so on and so forth, man. Getting the ultimate victory. Come on, come on. All, Read right, verse this, All right. You want nine and ten? Yes, sir. Yep. Okay. Come. All right. Uh, this is the book of Sirach. Uh, two and nine reads, Ye that fear the Lord, hope for good. Yep. And for everlasting joy and mercy. Right, hope for good. And what, what that begins with the knowledge and the wisdom understanding of these scriptures. Ye that fear the Lord, hope for good. This is our hope. There's no plan D. That's why the scripture says the things that was written aforetime was written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures, which patient goes into suffering, might have hope. So this is our hope. This is our faith. This is what we believe in, man. This is what all this is what we put all the marbles at. And then we know this is a sure thing. And Yahweh by Shem Shah, Lord's willing to be a part of the elect, is going to uh, reward us, Lord's willing, for um, uh, being firm and uh, staying firm and staying down for the Lord. That was it, bro. Yeah, that's good. As a matter of fact, hold on. Uh, let me bring out some. Right, fat, right, right, quick. <laughs> Let's see. Right, bring quick. Bring it out. Here with me. Here with me. Hold up, hold up. The preset just came into my head. Let's see. Uh, yep, this is the book of Hebrews 11, verse 6. But without faith, right, which is the understanding of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, which is a gift from the Lord, it is impossible to please him. So, right, so without the gift of faith, you can't please the Lord. If you're one of those people that want to see it to believe it, then you're going to receive destruction, man. Because that's doubt. And the Lord is not dealing with those 
that are uh, faint, faint in your heart, man. You know, they want to see you to believe, but it's going to be too late. It says, um, this is Hebrews 11 and 6, but without faith, it is impossible to please him who please the Lord. Mm -hmm. For he that cometh to the Lord must believe that he is Yahweh, right? By Hashem Yahweh Shah. He is everything. It says, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Then we read about uh, uh, a reward in Sirach, the second chapter, eight verse, your reward fail not. The Lord is going to give his reward to the elect for, for us being steadfast in the Lord, man. And during it to the end. All right. Passing the ultimate test of not taking the MOTB, which is the C hip, even if it costs them their lives, man. That's a reward for doing. That's an honorable deletion uh, in the eyes of the Lord, man. And the phone had to chime in on that. So that was it on your part? That was it on my part. I'll bring out this last one. This is the book of Job 28, verse 28. And unto man, the ears are like man, then the woman and children. He said, behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. Right? See, that's real wisdom. The wisdom of this world is foolishness with the Lord, and therefore the wisdom of this world is going to get a whole lot of people, of our people, the two-thirds, and you see the nations destroyed, right? It says, unto man, he said, behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom, and to depart from evil is understanding, right? Because you, when you depart from evil, you hate it. Because you fear your hava by shit, how shot. Then now we read in Proverbs, the eighth chapter, that the fear of the Lord is to hate evil. The phone had to chime in again. Uh, pride, arrogancy, all right, the, in a hateful, uh, uh, in a throw up mouth of the Lord hate. And what the Lord hates, we hate, man. That's why we prophesy on the downfall and destruction of Babylon the Great, which is America, man, and this whole wicked Edomite uh, system, man. Which is which is good, which is ran in wickedness. That was it, bro. Yeah. So, hey, with that, I pray and we pray that this lesson was edifying through the spirit and the power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Rakakodash. But before we close out, we want to give all honor and all glory and all praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh. Yahweh. Bahashem. Bahashem. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Bahashem. Bahashem. Racha Kodash. Racha Kodash. And next up, double honors to our elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone and Shalawan to other icons out there pushing this word in the four corners of the earth to the out of, out of fear and sincerity of heart to the best of your abilities. Louisville, till next time, me and the brother, we say Shalawan. Shalawan.